ladies and gentlemen, it is time to launch Logo again for Lesson 4. Remember when we do File Open, we need to always click My Documents, find the Logo folder with our name on it, and find our file. When you launch your file, remember it comes up blank, we can't see anything. We could hit Add All to see our words, but I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to just type House, and I'm going to watch my cool creation from Lesson 3 appear. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I would like you to clear the screen and I would like you to type a new command called circle and put a 20 after it. You guys press enter and see how it happens and then come back to this movie after you pause it to see how it works out. Hopefully you remember to pause but that's what circle 20 looks like. 20 is the radius so from here to here is a distance of 20. The diameter would be 40. When you're done with that, try circle 30, try circle 40, try circle 50. Try a few of those on the screen before you continue with this movie. Alright, at this point we're going to combine two commands. I want you to use set XY and I want you to tell it to go to the right and tell it to go up and I want you to do a circle 30 or whatever you pick but I want a circle on that side. When you're done with that, I want you to make it go left. Right now, you think of these th think about these numbers. What do you have to do to make it go left? I'll pause for a second. Hopefully, you said, oh, I'm going to click it. I'm going to change it so that the X is left. And because we had all those commands on one line, it drew the circle immediately. This time I want you to go right and down. Think about how you change the numbers to make it go right and down. Hopefully you said, well to go right, the first number has to be positive. The second number has to be negative. Boom, right and down. And of course the last one I want to be left and down. Remember these are all measured from zero. It went 200 over and it went 77 down. Think about it for a second. Hopefully you said, oh, to go this one, I wanted to go left, which is negative, and I want you to go 77, which is down. Show your neighbor the cool circles, and if I'm close, wave at me so I can check out your cool creation as well. If not, just continue the training. All right, friends, this one's super special and super useful. Click File, Edit, and I need you to type XY. You'll have more commands than me. Don't worry about that, but just type XY and then click OK. I'm going to zoom in super close so you can see this better, but on that top line, I want you to put colon X, and I want you to put colon Y, and then I want you to press Enter. Then type PU set XY space colon X space colon Y, and then put PD. Click File, Save, and Exit, and then continue the training to learn how to use it. Let's quickly test our XY command. First do Square, and then do XY, which is a short way to do Pen Up, Set XY, Pen Down. And let's go 10 over 30 up. And we don't even have to type Pen Down. We can just do SQ2, 10. Boom you've got an instant window in our fake house. Notice all we had was a square. To make your second window, it'd be XY, and this time you'd go 30 over 30 up. Still do your SQ2 and do your 10. If you want to build an instant garage, uh, you could do XY uh, 200 over uh, 0 up because you want it at the ground level. And let's do a big garage that is SQ2 100. That's how cool the little XY command is. So, at this time, continue with your training. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, at this time you can clear the screen to get rid of your circles with uh, CS, which I already did. And then I want you to make a new word called Rack. When you press Rack, I need you on the very top of it to put colon L. Notice I did capital so I can't mess it up. And I want colon W for the length and the width of our rectangle. Then inside here, I simply need you to type the following. Repeat to forward colon L, right 90, forward colon W, right 90. This draws one side, then it turns, draws the other side, then it turns, 
and then it repeats that two more times to make all four sides of the rectangle. Do File, Save, and Exit, and if it pops an error, make sure that you remember to have your variables up top and that you put in your last bracket. Those are the most common reasons why it comes back to the editor after you do File, Save, and Exit. But at that time, when you're back here, click Clear Screen, and then we need to use our rec by typing, like, add numbers here, like 77, which is that first number for length, and 233, and press Enter. When you do that, it instantly draws a rectangle that's 77 high by 233. I'm going to turn on Show Turtle so I can see that my turtle came back to home. But just like that, you can instantly draw any size rectangle by giving it the measurements. Just a quick thing for you to see, if I type negative, uh, if I type rec, negative 32, negative 1 and 25, notice it goes the opposite directions. If you type pen up set x, y, you can move to put them wherever you want. So I'm going to go negative 100, and I'm going to go up 100 and I'm going to put the pen down, and I'm going to do rec, and I'm going to do a 10 by 20, so it'll make a little cute one up there. Uh, if you followed the instructions in the movies to make the XY command, it's even easier. This time I'm going to go 200 over, 100 up, and I'm going to do rec, and I'm going to do 65, uh, 3. Makes a little skinny tower. Uh, right now your job is to use this skill to get at least seven rectangles somewhere on your screen and then call me over so I can see it. Uh, get to it, let's see how awesome your rectangles can be. Alright, we've got our cool rectangle command working because you just showed me all the squares. Now I'd like you to type house and let's combine all our cool skills to make a rectangle. First, let's do a little bit of learning. Do XY 50 over 0 high. Notice it moves to the edge of your house. Do XY 100 over 0 high. Notice it moves to the right where you could put a garage. Let's do XY 150 over 0 high. Notice that would be another good place to put a garage. Pick either 100 over, 150 over, or 200 over. And I'm going to do XY 200 over. Or you could even go 250 and then build a garage by typing REC and make it 60 high, 70 high, or 80 high or even bigger if you want. I'm going to go 60, and I'm going to make mine 100 wide. You can do 80, 90, 100, 120, but make a cool rectangle. Now here's the amazing thing. We are going to add a door. Notice I put mine 200 over, so this is the wall. I would want my door to be at like 205, and this is how easy it is to build a garage. The door needs to be zero high, and then remember my building was 60 by 100? So I'm going to make my garage door with a rectangle, and I want it to be 50 high, and I'm going to say 40 wide and press enter. Look how easy it is to make a garage and eventually two garage doors. At this point, it's up to you to figure out the cool numbers that you can use to add those garage doors. When you've got the cool garage doors added, I want you to create a new word called garage. Click File, Edit, and create a new word called garage. In your garage, make sure you use your XY command and do the rectangles to draw all your windows. You'll note that I've only got one window added. And that was because I didn't want to show you all my fancy code, but you can see here now in my word garage, I have got all the code added, so I've got super fancy doors and windows. Note you can do all those cool things. And then make sure that when your house is looking sweet, you edit the word house and you make garage so it happens in your house automatically. So I'm going to open house and there's my garage. So now when I do file, save and exit, I can do CS and if I type house, it just all appears. Continue with the training and learn how to make a wicked cool triangle for the roof. Our garage is looking amazing, but we need a roof. And let's do that by making a new word called try with a two after it. Once you type try2 and open the editor, I need you to put colon B, which is going to be the base, and I want you to put colon L, and I'm going to make that shift so it's easier to see, and then simply type the commands I'm giving you here. Start with write94 with B, 
then type left 135 forward colon L. You notice I capitalized so it's easy to see. And then do left 90 forward colon L, finishing with pen up home, pen down. When you've got that cool triangle built, do file save and exit so that you've got it built into your code. And then check out how easy it is to add a roof to your garage. Go, let's just for giggles, go 100 over and let's go uh, 80 up. That's too high. Let's go X, Y, and this time I'm going to go 200 over, and I'm going to go 70 up. That's still too high, but I've got the right over number. So now I'm going to try 260. And then we've got to use the right numbers for our try, too. So I remember that I made mine 80 wide. So I know that the B, which is the first number, has to be 80. And then I just need to guess what the second number is. So if I do 80 and 90, it was too big and it didn't work. I actually figured out that my building, though, instead of 80, was 100. So I'm going to simply do clear screen. I'm going to bring back my house. I'm going to go back up and use my good set XY, or my XY command. And this time when I do try to, I'm going to try 100 for the base, and I'm going to try 90. Now you can see 100 across was perfect because that corner is good, but my number was too big. So then I'm going to just keep trying numbers until I find the perfect one. Oops, I didn't put it in the right spot. So I always just go up and I double click on CS, I double click on house, I double click on the XY. And then this time I click once and I try a different number. Ooh, I nailed it. So that's how you make a cool... A roof for your garage and then you edit your garage and I'm gonna still hide the rest of my garage code for you because I wanted you to make your own and you simply put in your cool XY you go 200 over you go 60 up or whatever your perfect numbers were and then you put your magic try to with the numbers that fit your garage in the exact same spot when you're done with that do file save and exit and when you do CS and then click house and press enter, you will have an awesome house and an amazing garage. Maybe even more incredible than the one that I built. Let's quickly click file save and let's add a sun to our house. All we have to do is hit file edit and let's make a new word called sun, S-U-N. And then in sun, let's do an XY and let's go left 200. And let's go up in the air, let's say 100. You can pick different numbers if you want. And then you just need to simply do circle and pick a size, 20, 30, 40, 50. Remember, uh, when we finish any new word, we have to do pen up, home, pen down. Do file, save, and exit, and do CS house. And then type sun to see how awesome your sun looks. See how easy that was. And then edit your house and add the cool sun command so it happens automatically. Always adding it after the last word. File, save, and exit. Pat yourself on the back for being epic. Do a CS house and then move on. Alright friends, this is a special bonus movie. Don't worry about my garage being on the other side. Just continue the training and make the awesome try three. This out. I'd like you to hit file edit and I'd like you to type try three, or you can just watch the movie first. Try three is a very special triangle that only asks for colon C. Colon C is the distance here across the bottom. To build it, we are gonna use incredible math, and all the times you hear your math teachers talk about how awesome math is, this is one of the ways that I can prove it to you. Somebody has taken time to learn that there is a function called sine. And sine can help us solve things about triangles. You've all heard that a squared plus b squared is equal c squared. But this one works if you only know c. So when we type try 3 and any number, it automatically does the right 90 forward c, which you would want to type that. But then we're going to use math to make colon b, which are the two sides, equal in parentheses, 
colon C times sine, parentheses, the first angle, 45, divided by sine of the second angle, 90, parentheses, parentheses. Got to make sure you write it just like that. And then simply left turn 135, forward colon B, left turn 90, forward colon B. Pen up home, pen down. When you hit file, save, and exit, if you type clear screen, try 3, uh, 30, or 43, it makes a perfect, and I'll hide turtle to prove it, size 43 triangle. If you type um, CS try 3, uh, 275, say you had a building that was 275 across, bam, it instantly finds the perfect size for your size 235 triangle. That, my friends, is why math is incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have reached the end of lesson four. Make sure you do file save, and then you can close. If it's the end of the day, uh, I'll tell you it's time to shut down and stuff, or I'll tell you it's time to walk away and stuff. If it's not the end of the day, you may continue with lesson five.